Seven of Wands. Being just defensive about something. <clears throat> Apart from getting that you could have um, really achieved something, okay? You could, be, uh, you could be in a very stable position right now. And you feel the need to protect your position or protect yourself from competitors. Or, but, you know, you're in a very guarded place, you know, where like, I, I literally feel like you've come to a good spot. You've uh, achieved a good amount of um, uh, appreciation or, you know, you made a good amount of money, whatever, right? You've earned a good position in your current business or your work. And now you feel the need to uh, protect it, okay, from competitors or protect it from any kind of outside influence. Okay, you feel the need to guard it. <clears throat> right now, it looks like you're going through a lot of stress at work. That stress, probably there's conflicts with your colleagues or there could just be something which is taking, uh, you know, I I'm getting your emotions could be directly related to your finances or your career right now, okay? So <clears throat> that's what I'm getting with the Three of Swords here. What's your blockage? Ace of Wands, you probably want to start something new. You're very enthusiastic about something. You... Um, You've got that passion, that drive, you know, to achieve something right now. But uh, something's causing you stress. Maybe you want to start a new project. Maybe you want to start from clean, a clean slate, okay? And probably there are people who are probably not agreeing with you and you feel the need to protect your ideas or something like that, okay? That seven of wands is not literally fighting against people. That's not like the five of wands. This is more of the card of where I need to fight for what I want. That's the kind of energy I'm getting, okay? So I'm getting that there is something out there which you feel the need to fight for. You want to stand up for something. <clears throat> but in the current situation, there's a lot of stress out here. <clears throat> the three of swords, like I say, right? That's a lot of stress, anxiety. That could be hurt feelings at work, okay? Or you're just feeling hopeless. But uh, your biggest, uh, what is challenging this, you know, is the ace of wands, which I said before. This is... You're wanting to, start, you have that passion for work, okay? But I think you're lacking that, okay? Either there's a lack of progress here or you're lacking that inspiration at work, okay? You're feeling a little uncreative. <coughs> now this is that, the five of wands. So in the past, there could be a lot of competition. You could have had to fight a lot of people. You know, you guys were not on the same page. Too many issues in the past, okay? But this is external. This is you having to fight other people, okay? To come to a certain position. On your mind, five of pentacles, you're feeling left out. You're feeling lonely or there could be some financial issues that you're going on at present, okay? <clears throat> the five of pentacles can also feel where you're probably uh, feeling very isolated. See, that's what I said, right? You're feeling isolated at work. You feel like an outcast, okay? Or there's just too much of hardships right now, okay? Could more have to do with a temporary financial issue going on with you. But this is what your focus is on, okay? Four of pentacles in reverse. <sighs> the root of the issue... <clears throat> Other reason for the reading is the four of pentacles in reverse. Either you're, 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 you know, you're letting go of a job, you know, literally like you're, you're, you're letting go of something that you, that gave you a lot of stability because you're in that five of pentacles. See from the five and the four, right? You have both of these, both of these on your mind, on your conscious and your subconscious mind, right? I think you're wanting to let go of a job or a, a profession or a career, okay? You're losing a very valuable opportunity, okay? But this is a very risky behavior or you're taking some shortcuts that could backfire. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, wow. In the near future, there is something that you're dreaming of. There's a new idea. There's a new inspiration that you have. But again, right? Only doing the research, only dreaming about it and no action and not wanting to put it into a goal. It's just going to keep it as a dream. So be very mindful about that. This could be good news also, some good financial news if you're expecting. Nine of Wands in reverse here. You're exhausted. You're exhausted here with the Nine of Wands here. This is that that, that uh, beaten, wounded warrior, right? Someone who gives it, gives it their last shot, you know. But by the end, you know, they're just feeling drained and fatigued at work, you know, and literally struggling and almost nearing burning out, nearing that burnout, okay? See, that's, that's what's going on with you. And the problem here is, of course, three of pentacles in reverse. <clears throat> this is a lack of cooperation, lack of teamwork within your work, okay? This is not being able to work as a team. You're not being able to collaborate with others, okay? 
there's this uh, stress and frustration amongst your colleagues and a lot of office politics, okay? So there are some issues here which is draining the shit out of you. And that's what the Three of Swords is all about, right? You probably want something new or you just want a fresh start, okay? But you just don't know how to tackle with the situation and you're probably even considering letting this current stability go. See, Four of Cups, you're not happy. You're very discontented with the thing, <clears throat> with the way things are going right now. Okay, the Four of Cups is the energy of someone who is, you know, um, very bored. Either you're very bored, or you're just feeling there's a lack of progress, stagnancy. Okay, within your career or your job, or this is you just feeling very unhappy overall. Okay, with whatever you're doing right now. <clears throat> you're in the state for a very long time. Okay, this is a very low vibrational energy. If you try to look at, uh, if you try to come out of this uh, sadness, this being upset, could even be that you're jealous of what other people are achieving. That's another story. It doesn't have to be. You're so focused on these three cups that make you unhappy that you're not ready to open your eyes. If you do open your eyes, you look at this one opportunity that is being presented to you by the universe. There is something out there, okay? But you're going to have to make some realizations about your career and there's going to be some adjustments that are going to be needing to make from your side, but you're not ready to do because you're almost there at the burnout stage oh nice nine of cups okay <clears throat> page of cups to nine of cups so i guess there is some new idea that's on your mind you're finally going to in the new in the in the near future <coughs> there is something that you're daydreaming about you know this is daydream about your career path or your business but you're trying to find a very creative outlet at work in the near future and that is something which is going to lead to the nine of cups this is a wishful wish fulfillment okay this is you being very very satisfied with your career you're going to get recognition and respect at work okay just don't be very overconfident about it okay <clears throat> let's see what's the seven of wands what's the seven of wands why is the seven of wands as the overall energy for a Aquarius? the hangman in reverse because um i guess that you are very confused because you have a lot of opportunities that are presented to you. You have, <coughs> sorry, really sorry. You have many career options and you need to make a choice and stick to it, okay? But with the hangman in reverse here, what I'm getting here is that probably you are finding, uh, I thought there is people here. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. So what I said, <clears throat> I think you're trying to defend your position or you're trying to fight for something because I feel that you could feel very blocked, stuck and restricted probably right now because there could be other people around you or other circumstances which are leaving you on hold. Okay. I think there are people who are keeping you stuck and that's something that's frustrating you. There's this frustrating delay around here. All right. And that's something that you're wanting to fight out. There's a lot of uncertainty, okay? And that's one thing that you're trying to fight out, okay? Or you're probably prepared to make changes and you're wanting to move ahead with a new mindset here, but there are people who are keeping you blocked, okay? There's something to do with procrastination, probably. You feel someone's wasting your time. For sure. Like, nothing's happening. There's just this stalling of the decision, procrastinating. And some either these people are waiting too long to make a move and that's something that you are not ready, you're not okay with. <clears throat> What's the three of swords? Temperance. Wow. Something needs a balance here. The temperance is the part of slow and steady growth. Okay, it's you can get the success, but you need that patience and moderation. Okay, like I said, slow and steady progress. Maybe you have that work-life imbalance right now, okay? It's like all or nothing at job or there's just a lot of reckless decisions that are me being made right now. And those reckless decisions, maybe you're wanting to wait it out, but those decisions are probably which is con con causing a lot of conflict at work. Maybe mean things are said at work and that's arguments, etc. And you're looking for that sport of growth, you know? You're at that point of where you really want to grow, 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 grow. And all of a sudden, this lack of teamwork and, you know, office politics is really ruining you. You know, you're not feeling happy about it. 
Um, what's the four of pentacles in reverse? What's the four of pentacles in reverse? So you want to release yourself from a situation. You're letting go of something. You're ready to let go of something that is very valuable, that's very stable. But at the same time, you want freedom from this anxiety. Okay, you want to release yourself from a situation, okay, where you probably were finding it very difficult of changing your career or your job, or you had a lot of dependence on something in particular, right? Now you're wanting to reach a new potential, okay? You're probably wanting to go into something new, which has more potential, but you definitely want to release yourself from a situation that you feel very stuck, tied and bound to, okay? See, the hangman in reverse, they're keeping you stuck for a reason here, and that's something that you're going to fight. That's something that is some, you know, you feel the need to defend that. <clears throat> What's the page of cups? Eight of pentacles in reverse. You're bored where you are. Seriously, hands down. You're bored where you are, wherever. This is something that you've been repeating. Okay, this could be a work that you've been repeating over and over and over again. And now you hardly have any motivation, you know. And it's affecting your job quality, etc. And now you're wanting to do something else. Okay, literally wanting to pursue something that has been a dream for a very long time. Because the page of cups is someone very creative, right? So it, it tells me that there is some idea that you have in mind. You're dreaming about it. And now you're wanting to literally approach it. But only approaching the idea with your dreams is not going to work. You're going to have to put in action. But <clears throat> you're thinking of something. I'm literally getting... I'm literally getting you wanting to go ahead and pursue something new because you're bored at a certain job which is repetitive and it's boring or you're just not wanting to put in the effort anymore. You're fed up of it. You're fed up. It's getting you nowhere. <coughs> What's the three of pentacles in reverse? You want to make big moves. I have a feeling you want to let this go. You want to let this team go because the strength is all about being brave and courageous, right? You want to take big steps. You want to make a bold career move and I feel your team is not with you in it. That's the problem here. That's the problem here. You want to make this a good productive work environment, okay? A very positive work environment. And there's something that you want to change, something that you want, something brand new, okay? What if it's going to take a lot of courage? You know, a lot of uh, something productive, a lot of passion and drive towards you want to do something else. But again, I'm thinking you want to make a huge leap, a huge step ahead, but there is a lack of uh, collaboration. They're not with you on the same page. And that's something that's upsetting you with the four of cups here. <clears throat> What's the nine of wands in reverse? Why is the nine of wands in reverse? Why are you so exhausted? What's the nine of wands in reverse? What's the nine of wands in reverse? See? Releasing yourself from a burden. Ten of wands in reverse. See, from the nine, you directly go into the ten. <clears throat> you want to relieve yourself from this work burden, okay? You want to find support. Because you've almost reached, you've overworked yourself. And you could be carrying the burdens of this entire work on your own. You probably didn't get help from your colleagues, okay? And now you're ready to release it. You're getting that relief from your work burden, okay? Because you want to let it go. You no longer have that energy in you to fight for this anymore. Or, you know, it could have been a long, tiring road with this team, whoever you're working with. And now for you, it's like, screw this. Enough is enough. I can't take this anymore. See, because everyone I'm getting Aquarius, you're the one who's wanting to fight for something big. You want to make a big move, but they're constantly keeping you stuck. And you have like to stick with them, you know? <clears throat> What's, what's the um, yeah so what's the four of cups you're not being able to communicate properly king of swords in reverse here you're not being very rational probably you know either there's someone around you who's there or this is okay this could be you this could be the person you're dating, but someone's being a little power hungry here okay someone's being a little dominating and a little irrational with their work decisions which in turn is causing you to be in this mode of being a little upset and, you know, uh, bored at job, okay, feeling unhappy. So either this is you who's making very irrational choices, wanting to be very dominating and wanting to get the entire power. 
and <clears throat> or this is you who's already feeling bored at job and not happy with where your progress is going because you're dealing with someone like this okay but regardless whatever happens right we have the nine of cups here you have a wish coming true so i'm guessing that you're going to have a very satisfying career uh, as the outcome here okay you're going to get the recognition and the work uh, and respect at work for sure that's the outcome here i like the near future here okay but just be careful about your environment here there's a constant clash you know it's like a budge fest going on they don't budge you don't budge and ultimately on your mind you're feeling very left out here okay you feel like an outcast you feel like you're not a part of the team <clears throat> you're desperately wanting to leave desperately this is something that gives you a lot of stability but you're ready to ready to let that stability ready to let that uh, opportunity go which gives you a lot of um, security this is something very valuable to you whatever you're working on but you're ready to let it go because it's bringing in a lot of stress a lot of chaos a lot of drama that's what i have for you queries i hope this reading resonates with you do like share subscribe and i will see you next time bye bye